Hi everyone. Yes, happy June to you. I'm your health educator, Tanisha Lawrence. And yes, this is your Monday Meds. June 1 is the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. And so, as you know, we've been talking about hurricane preparedness um, for years now, but specifically we did features on it last year. And um, definitely check in the playlist for that um, those features on hurricane preparedness and how you can be prepared I know many of you are still struggling um, coming out of COVID pandemic well they say it's over there is another pandemic monkeypox but that's for another video but as as we talk about hurricane preparedness June 1 hurricane season begins today run into November 30th so or November 30 which means that's about five months actually more than five months because if you start from June 1 to November 1 that's five months and so basically if you consider that's like six months because June 1 to if you want to push it to December 1 would be six months but of course it's November 30 so yes I want to remind you and to encourage you that you need to be prepared for natural disasters of whatever kind whether man-made or naturally and so yes you have to make sure that you are prepared and um, we did share if you have not seen it check in the description section of this video we will share the link or you can go over to Monday Med's channel where the baby food formula crisis in America has it's actually something additionally you have to consider especially if you have a newborn or if you have babies or you have children you have to consider extra food now last year you may not you may not have had children last year um, hurricane season so this is added preparation that you need to have and we know that there has been a baby food shortage there in America and so definitely add that to your preparation um, drive or your preparation regime you have to make sure that you have food for your baby and yes we did give some tips some great tips on how you can prepare um, to have food for your baby and yes check it out check it out I will not reiterate in this video about the baby food formula and what substitutes you could do definitely check it out so yes you have to make sure that you have enough water for each person at least water water for at least three days for each person in the family um, preferably if you can have up to a week or more water stored up that would be awesome if you can have much more than that because we don't know when we would get back to um, if there is a, a natural disaster we don't know when you would get back to normalcy so definitely store up as much or as many bottled water as you can for those of you who are in the tropics like us in Jamaica definitely store up bottled water um, your buckets your your barrels your tanks if you haven't gotten a tank yet invest in one of those water tanks whether you want to do rhino tanks or whatever invest in tanks and gutter your roof for those of you who have seen the videos that I've shared about guttering your roof and catching water very important I cannot stress it too much yes I it is it has been for me it has been a, a big issue huge issue um, because I had an experience recently or some months ago where people blocked the street in the country on the rural area for water and that got to me <laughs> like I'm still not over that because you gotta you cannot depend on the government for your water water is life we know it and um, for those of you here in Jamaica there was a recent um, NWC National Water Commission 
they went on strike for about two days and many of you saw in the news that many of you were affected by this water um, by this strike by the national water commission so you cannot afford to allow the government to control your water and you cannot afford to allow the government to control your food so water food and also light source or energy source will be something three most important things you need to consider as we've said before in previous um, videos of preparation i'm just reiterating if you can get a solar powered radio or a solar power or hand cranked radio that is one great tool i highly recommend i will share in the description section of this video um, links that you can possibly use to help you to find some of these um, these preparation tools and so you definitely have to be prepared not just for one or two of the 21 hur named hurricanes that have already been named yes by the national hurricane center there have been 21 named so far 21 named storms and i'll just run down the list for you if you hear your name don't laugh don't laugh just pray that that storm is not one that would hit you or anyone in your area or pray that that storm would not hit yeah pray that that storm does not hit period so alex bonnie colin yes colin daniel earl fiona gaston Hermin, Ian, Julia, Carl, Lisa, Martin, Nicole, Owen, Paula, Richard, Shari, Tobias, Virginie, and Walter. Those are the 21 named storms so far. We know sometimes they go up even to the Greek alphabet. So let's see what happens you wonder how do they name the storms how do they know the storms are coming interesting thought right we will leave it right there and just encourage you to be prepared as best as possible for what may come throughout this summer and as we talk about summer i will do a video on this but i'm going to encourage you yes if you have plans to travel overseas for those of you who are there in America who wants to come to Jamaica or to go home to travel for the summer or you are planning to travel, if you are planning to travel in December or later after the summer, I would encourage you to consider, reconsider your travel plans and travel this summer. I will do another video about it. I'm just giving you that encouragement based on what we see that is happening with fuel prices and, and um, food shortages and, you know, war in Ukraine as a result of all of the Russian attacks and what have you. Yes, let wisdom prevail and do what you can, do what travels you can this summer. Go and see your loved ones. Come and see your family and your loved ones. Yes now is the time to do that i know you may not be planning for that but i pray that god will give you the wisdom and the strength to do that so yes if you're if you're considering to travel if you're not considering to travel and you have not traveled to see your family in a while that's one of my encouragement to you that you will do so very soon and do so this summer i pray god's blessings on you this month happy new month of june and have a wonderful month ahead. God be with you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Be sure to click the notification bell to get updates on all our new videos. Keep watching.